hello friends <coughs> welcome to this next video on major theory so what we have done we are seeing in looking at this thing we are given two Lebesgue measurable functions we have seen that linear combination of Lebesgue measurable functions is a Lebesgue measurable function product of Lebesgue measurable function is a Lebesgue measurable function and division of Lebesgue measurable function is a Lebesgue measurable function okay now next in this line comes the composition of functions right so we want that we want to look whether the composition of two Lebesgue measurable function what is composition of function so basically f of g of x is defined as f of g of x right obviously for that the range of gx should be a domain of uh, a subset of the domain of f all these uh, things are required okay but unfortunately we'll actually prove that in the next uh, some video we'll prove that composition of <coughs> two Lebesgue measurable functions is not a Lebesgue measurable function okay so this is actually very sad thing to happen otherwise uh, we would have very nice properties of Lebesgue measurable functions so but uh, we don't have this property that uh, a composition of two Lebesgue measurable function is a Lebesgue measurable function actually we will give a counter example that uh, where we have two functions which are Lebesgue measurable function but their composition is not a Lebesgue measurable function okay so we are very sad that we don't have the composition of two Lebesgue measurable function as a uh, Lebesgue measurable function then as life goes on so we look for some other things which might be possible right if okay the composition of two Lebesgue measurable functions is not a Lebesgue measurable function but uh, can we have something lighter than this okay okay then we have a theorem which make which will make us a little happy so what is that theorem that proposition it says that if you have a function g is a uh, Lebesgue measurable function and you have f a continuous function then f for g is a Lebesgue measurable function right we know that every continuous function is a Lebesgue measurable function so we have this thing you have Lebesgue measurable function and continuous function is a subset of Lebesgue measurable function so we are saying that if we if you choose your f and g from here then their composition may not be a Lebesgue measurable function but if you choose your g from this bigger set and f from this smaller set then for sure the composition is a Lebesgue measurable function so at least we have something okay so something is better than nothing so we are happy with this proposition so this proposition is quite simple to prove we are going to prove this proposition so let me write this proposition properly so what is the statement the statement says that let g be a Lebesgue measurable function defined on E and let f be a continuous real valued function defined on all R and let f be a continuous real valued function defined on all R why we want uh, on uh, all r so that we don't have any proper uh, problem in taking you know composition f of g so whatever is the value of g of x it comes in the uh, domain of f here we would like to write this thing let g be a big major function real valued uh, real valued because if it is extended real valued function then g of x may be infinity and f of infinity may not be defined right so we are uh, we are making sure that everything is defined right then the composition f of g is a measurable function on then composition f of g is a measurable function on e then composition f of g is a Lebesgue measurable function on e okay. so let let us prove this thing so you must remember in some uh, i think uh, three four videos back we have proved that a, a function is Lebesgue measurable function a function f is Lebesgue measurable function if and only if inverse image of each open set uh, under f is an open set it means that if and only if f inverse o is open for every open set o right f is the big measurable function if and only if f inverse o is open for every open set o 
so we will make use of this thing in proving that uh, if f is continuous and g is Lebesgue measurable function then this composition is a Lebesgue measurable function so let o be any open set then what is f o g inverse of o uh, you can look for the properties of composition so this is actually this thing this thing can be computed as this now we know that inverse image of an open set under a continuous function is an open set this is a theorem in real analysis inverse image of an open set under a continuous function is an open set therefore f inverse o is an open set right okay now look at this thing we have this thing g inverse of an open set this is g this is an open set g inverse of an open set is an open set why because again we can make the use of this theorem right uh, we are given that g is a Lebesgue measurable function so uh, inverse image of an, of an open set is an open set is an open set because g is Lebesgue measurable function so it means that we get that for every open set for every open set O G inverse of F inverse of O which is nothing but F O G inverse of O is an open set right if this is an open set it implies that F O G is a Lebesgue measurable function right so it means that we prove that in this particular case, the composition of Lebesgue measurable function is a Lebesgue measurable function. So, uh, there is a very interesting corollary to this proposition. What is that? Now, if uh, suppose we have f is a Lebesgue measurable function on a domain E, right? Now, we want to look at this function whether this is a Lebesgue, this is the absolute value of f, right? So, basically, if you have a function f like this, then this is your function f then what will be the function mod of f mod of f will be I, d I shouldn't draw it like okay so mod of f will be something like this okay so this is the function right okay so we want to look whether this is a big material function or not now i think you can easily answer this thing so actually what is this this is a composition g of f where g of x is defined as modulus of x and we know that modulus is a continuous function on r Right, and f is given to be a Lebesgue measurable function. So apply the above proposition, you will get that g of f is a Lebesgue measurable function. So it implies that modulus is a Lebesgue measurable function. So we can actually prove that modulus of a function is a Lebesgue measurable function. And in general, we have this thing. Modulus of f raised to power p, where p is greater than 0, right? You can look at this thing. This is actually a Lebesgue measurable function. How? Because uh, if you define g of x is equal to x raised to power p and p is greater than 0, th this is a continuous function on R. Right? And this thing is actually composition of g and f. Right? You are saying that this is a continuous function and this is a Lebesgue measurable function. Therefore, this is a Lebesgue measurable function by the use of above proposition. So, what we got? We got that uh, modulus of f is a Lebesgue measurable function if f is a Lebesgue measurable function and modulus of f raised to power p is a Lebesgue measurable function so let us summarize what we have done we have proved that if f and g are two Lebesgue measurable functions then f uh, their linear combination is a Lebesgue measurable function their product is a Lebesgue measurable function their division is a Lebesgue me measurable function modulus of f is a Lebesgue measurable function modulus of f raised to power p is a Lebesgue measurable function where p is greater than 0 right and further if f is continuous and on r and g is Lebesgue measurable function then f o g is a Lebesgue measurable function okay so this is what we have proved and uh, uh, do remember that we have to give a counter example where we have two uh, functions which are Lebesgue measurable function and but their composition is not a Lebesgue measurable function we'll do that in future thank you